Welcome everyone to Stronger Arms with me, Lavanya, and it is session number four. Yes, as we age, our body undergoes tremendous changes, and muscle loss is inevitable. And that's one of the main reasons why we urge you all to start strengthening early on. I'll tell you more on this as what happens to our muscles as we age. But without any further delay, let's get start with our warm up. Okay, now for warm ups we have four movements, thirty seconds is two round. Okay, the warm up number one is called squat knee to elbow. How are you gonna do it? Keep your feet shoulder width apart, toes out, push your hips back, lower your body, knees out. Okay, as you come up, you gotta keep your hands at the same time behind your head. As you come up, you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow, place it back, go down, then your right knee to your left elbow. One more time, squat. Come up, left knee to your elbow, squat, come up, right knee to your left elbow. Ready? In three, two, one, and go. Push your hips back, go down, come back up, left to the right, squat, right to the left. Come on. Yes, as you squat down, make sure that is your body is upright, your elbows are pointing to the side. Only when, when you bring it down, okay, try to cross. Then only you're gonna bring it forward. Yeah. And keep pushing your knees out, your entire feet on the floor. Come on. Three more seconds. And stop. Well done. Now, warm up number two is your hamstring swipes. How are you gonna do it? You're gonna keep your left leg forward. So if your left leg is forward, toes pointing out, your knees are locked, but you can bend the right knee. Okay. Now swipe your hands behind your legs, taking all the way to your ankle to your Heels, come back up, bring your right leg forward, but as you push your butts back, chest upright, don't round your back and keep repeating. And if you're struggling, you can go slightly below your knee, it's perfectly fine. Okay, slowly, slowly, you can go more lower. Three, two, one, and go. Hamstring swipes. Whew. Come on, remember not to round your body, whichever leg is forward. That leg's knees are locked, toes pointing towards your body. You can always bend the behind leg and keep breathing. 10 more seconds. Slow and controlled. Yes, let's go. Three more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Now, warm up number three is called inch warm walk. You're gonna start from the edge of where your mat, keep your feet shoulder width apart. Now you're gonna push your butts back, in other words, your hips, bend forward, bring your palms all the way down to your mat. If you can't touch, you can perfectly fine bend your knees. Okay, from there you take baby step, taking smaller steps, come to high plank, and then go back all the way up. Okay, you're gonna be doing it for the next 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Bend on this perfectly fine. You can bend your knees, take baby steps, smaller steps, come to high plank. Okay. Go back slowly up, stand tall, squeeze tight and breathe out and repeat. Okay. Now, you know the movement. You can slightly pace it up. No need to rush. Make sure that you're breathing and you're not holding your breath. Yes, as you come to the plank, pull your belly button towards the spine. And three, two, one, stop. Now, we're gonna go to the warm up number four core world's greatest stress. For that, you're gonna come down to your mat. Make sure that you place your palms directly under your shoulders to open up your fingertips. From there, lift one leg up. You're gonna bring your right feet next to your right palm. Bend your right hand, the same hand. Your forearm touches the floor. Take it up towards the ceiling. Look at your palms and breathe out. If you're struggling, you can drop your knees and do the same. Okay, so we're gonna be doing it 15 seconds and then we're gonna switch. Three, two, one, and go. World's cut a stretch. <sighs> when you do it and then you realize why it is called the world's cut a stretch because it stretches your entire body, isn't it not? Come on, three, two, one, and switch. Place your right hand back, the right feet back, left hand forward, move your left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Look at your palms when you 
lift your arms and breathe out it's perfectly fine if you struggling and you want to keep the back knee on the floor yes come on three two one and stop Whew, we are done with round number one now get ready for your round number two squat knee to elbow fingertips behind your head elbows pointing out feet shoulder width apart and go squat right knee to your left elbow place it back squat left knee to your right elbow and repeat this is your round number two now you can slightly pace it up yes but make sure that you're not going out of your form yeah come on breathe out when you lift your knees up keep pushing your knees out don't let your knees cave in remember very important three two one and stop Whew. ready hamstring swipes left leg forward knees locked first pointing out and go remember as you push your butts back hips back don't round your back chest upright try to go as low as you can and slowly swipe your hands all the way down keep breathing yeah now don't do this huh <laughs> nope all the way 10 more seconds Slow and control. Feel that we are activating your inch work. Yeah, just three more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Now let's move on to warm up number three. Your inch form work. Come on, come to the edge of your mat. Push your hips back. Go down. Feel free to bend your knees. Take baby steps. Come to high plank. Walk your hands back. And all the way up, squeeze your muscles and then repeat. Come on. Okay. Don't hold your breath. You have to stand all the way up. No cheating, no half reps. Try to hold the plank for two seconds. Take baby steps. Get back up. Come on, 10 more seconds. Don't give up. Woo. Walk, 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 walk. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Good. Let's go. And done. Remember the warm up four? Your world's got a stretch. Come down to your mat. Palms directly under your shoulders. Bring your right feet next to your palm. And let's go. Drop your arms. Look at your palms. Breathe out. Keep moving. We are doing it for the next 15 seconds. Yes? Remember? As I said, it's perfectly fine if you're starting new and you want to drop the back knee and switch the other side. We are doing it for the next 15 seconds. Whew. Look at your palms and breathe out. It's perfectly fine if you're not able to touch the floor. Okay, slowly, slowly, you will be able to. Come on. Three, two, one, and stop. Whew. And we are done. Now, if you want, take a quick sip of water as I explain for today's workout. What is the format? And today's format is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Five movements and three rounds only, right? So movement number one, we're going to do it for next 40 seconds. I will explain you as we progress. Arm, plank, arm march. How are you going to do it? Come down to your mat. Remember, palms directly under your shoulder. Open up your fingertips. Extend one leg, then the other. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Tighten your squeeze your glutes and leg muscles but don't hold your breath you're gonna lift your hands up maintaining that plank place it back slowly with control and lift the left hand up so you're gonna try to maintain that arms next to your ears and the next 40 seconds you're gonna try to move yeah without moving your hips much ready next 40 seconds in three two one and go arm plank march Remember, you know, the more slow and controlled you do, the proper engagement of muscles you get, and you get stronger arms. Woo! Because when you lift the one hand, the other hand takes the entire weight. When you are focusing on your arms, make sure that you're not moving much, you're not going to mountain or arching, yes? Yeah. And how are you going to do that? Embrace your core. Or activate your core properly tighten all the muscles pull your belly button in yes just three more seconds come on three two one stop Whew. now you get 20 seconds breather as i explain the movement number 
to is called 10 up and downs of plank. One. So what you're gonna do, gonna start again from the high plank, always underneath your shoulders. You're gonna drop your right elbow gently on the mat, then drop the left elbow, and again come back up. This is your one rep. So you're gonna finish 10 of these, okay? So what you can do if you're starting with the right hand, next rep you can start with the left hand. Keep alternating, okay? Ready? In three, two, one, and go. One. Yes. You can do it slow. Make sure that you're maintaining your form. Two. Three. Yes. If you're still struggling, you can drop your knees. Again, you can go with the knee down. Plank up and down. Four. This is my fifth. Six. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Seven. Eight. Yes. Come on, come on. Nine. And I am done with turn. You have five more seconds. Yes, try to finish that off. And stop. 40 seconds done. Right? Now, movement number three. Remember, in the warm-up, you did the inchworm walk. Just a twist in that. What is that? So, let's start with the inchworm walk. You're going to push your hips back. In other words, your butt's back. Bend your knees. Bend down. If you can lock your knees and touch the floor, perfect. If not, it's perfectly fine. Walk your hands forward. Okay, this time, you're going to try to keep slightly wider, but hands are on your shoulder. You're going to drop your knees and go with the push-up. Lift your knees off and then come back up. Yeah. So, this is what you're going to do. Plank. Knee down. Always breathe out when you go for the push-up. And you're going to try to get as many reps possible in 40 seconds. This is round number one. Start slow. Three, two, one, and go. Take baby steps. Come to plank. Drop your knees. Go for a push-up. Lift your knees up. And walk your hands back. And repeat. Remember, you have to stand tall. Yeah? And then, see, cut down the range. If you're starting new, perfectly fine. Or if you can go all the way. Make sure that you're not going out of your form. Very important. Yes, we are almost there. Come on. Always breathe out. Don't forget. Don't let your elbows flare out as you go for a push up, right? Just five more seconds. Get that one extra rep. Keep squeezing your elbows towards your body. And stop. We are done with three movements. Now, movement number four is your step climbers. Yes, most of the movements we have is on the mat today, yeah? So, this is your day four. You can get, you can do it. Again, from the high plank by you know, palms directly under your shoulder fingertips. Gonna bring your right knee towards your chest forward while maintaining your plank. As you bring your knees forward, you're gonna breathe out with slow and control. So we are not doing the running, we are doing the step climbers. Okay? Ready? Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Your main focus should be not on the speed right your focus is get that plank try not moving the hips much okay what i meant is this don't do this no no or here nope yeah yes look try to move on your leg bring it forward breathe out yes come on just 12 more seconds and if you're you hold for plank it's perfectly fine get back again yeah, five more seconds. Come on. You can do it. Three, two, one. Hand stop. Woo, the burn. My hands are tired. Okay, the last one is called side plank. And we'll be doing it for, holding it for 20 seconds. How are we going to do? Two variations. Elbows directly under your shoulder. Make sure that when you... Drop your body, elbows, your hip and ankle are in straight line. Keep your hands on your hips. Lift your hips up, push your hips up and your top hip is slightly towards your mat or straight. But not, don't twist it up, don't open it up towards the ceiling. Don't, we don't want that. Elbows directly, you're going to hold. Scale it down. You can drop the top leg. Push with that feet to get that extra strength. And you're going to hold for 30 seconds. Yes. And when I say switch, you're going to drop down. Gonna switch to the other side and go for the 
other side ready let's go in three two one go see you have both the variations you can keep your hands here you can keep your hands here but the main focus that you're pushing your hips up it's an amazing way to activate your obliques your lateral spine your side and you will feel a lot of burn in your arms and three two one switch job and quickly switch to the other side and hop yes keep breathing keep breathing okay make sure that if evenly distributing is perfectly fine if you want to drop the top leg remember push your hips away from as far as from your mat keep your neck neutral three two one stop and we are done yeah ready for the round number two you get 20 seconds breather get your breath you want to quickly take a sip of water please do now you have five seconds get down to your mat get ready for your plank arm march in three two one and go remember hands straight to your shoulders wrist straight to your shoulder next to yours okay arm extended don't bend your arms tighten it okay maintain the tension on your entire body okay Woo. soon you're gonna get the stronger arms this is the day four Woo. it's fun right yes slow and control try to move only your hands Keep squeezing your butt muscles, leg muscles and keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Yes. And squeeze that. You know, activate your abs as well. Pull your belly button in and stop. Ah. Shake your hands. Catch your breath. Slowly get back up. If you want, you can walk. Or you can be well rested on the mat because we have 10 planks up and down. So you have 5 seconds. Get ready for you this okay and go now this time i'm gonna start with my left so remember you have to keep alternating or if you have done with the round number one with your right hand first so now you can switch to left hand or it's perfectly fine you can keep alternating okay as i said you can go slow the whole focus is to maintain and build that strand don't rush try not to go out of your form and keep breathing no holding of your breath if you get tired you can catch your breath in plank elbow plank or high plank but no stopping come on almost there five more seconds Woo. three two one and stop yes 20 seconds breather and we move on to inch warm work to knee down push-ups ready you have 10 more seconds slowly get up shake your hands if you need to and get ready three seconds three two one and go oh walk your hands back and keep your knees down remember as you go down don't let your elbows flare out keep squeezing towards your body breathe as you push yourself up knees up walk your hands back all the way up and repeat come on yes this is your second last round don't give up you can go slightly pace it up you can go slower but remember to maintain that form focus on your breathing do the movement correctly yes We're going to get stronger arms stronger core come quickly finish that one rep and done yes 20 seconds breather and we move to step climbers yeah, that's the fun of body weight workout. Apart from the primary muscles here, we are targeting the arms, but you secondary, we're engaging a lot more of core and obviously your lower body as well. Right? Ready for your step climbers? Remember all these palms under your shoulders and go. Okay. Look at my hips. Is it totally towards the floor? And I'm doing very slowly to get that burn. I'm trying to maintain that form and I want you to do the same. Okay, by now if you're tired, you can hold, it's perfectly fine. But don't hold this, don't hold this, yes? Yeah, and keep breathing. As I said, you need to squeeze and tighten your butt and leg muscles at the same time. Pull your belly button towards the spine. Okay, that's how you get just 10 
Five more seconds, almost there, come on. Keep your neck neutral, okay? Don't look up. And three, two, one, stop. Ooh, the most fun part. Side plank. Ready? You have still 12 seconds left. I'm just so tired, I just wanted to, you know, get some breath. Rest on the mat. Five seconds, guys, come on. Look at your elbows. Is it directly under your shoulders? Your shoulder, hip ankle on straight line and go. Hold it. Yes, keep pushing your hips up. Your hips, the top hips straight or slightly towards the mat, but don't twist it up. Hands here, you wanna make it challenging. Don't make it challenging. Just kidding. But your hips all the way up towards, yeah? Come on. And switch to the side. Go, go, go. Yay. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Yeah? You don't want that. Oh, I know it's hard. But with practice, you'll be able to breathe. Come on, keep breathing. Three, two, one, stop. Woo! Can you see that? Two rounds done. Just one more last round to go, and we are done. Yeah? I'm gonna quickly take a sip of water. You do too. Ready? Oh, get ready for your plank arm march. Do you need five more seconds? Okay, hello. I'll give you five more seconds since it is your last round. Ready? Now, no excuses. Let's go. Plank arm march. Who? Look. Strengthen your arm. Maintain the tension in your arms. Okay? Keep squeezing your butt muscles and leg muscles. That's how. You do not drop your hips up or down, right? Come on. Almost there. Three more seconds to go. The more slow and control you do, the more stronger you get. The proper activation you get. Yes? Not far away, you'll be able to hold it for five minutes. Just three, two, one, and stop. Down. Shake your hands. Get that much needed break because you have 10 planks up and down. 10 more seconds. I know, I'm feeling the burn. Where are you feeling? On your forearms, triceps, shoulders? Let me know later on. Get ready. 3, 2, 1, go. Down and up. Down and up. 3, 4, oh, I didn't count last time, yeah? <laughs> Five. I'm gonna count now. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Guys, you have ten more seconds. Finish that wrap. You have to finish minimum is ten. You can't do one less wrap. You can do two more extra reps. Three, two, one, and stop. Done. You get that 20 seconds breather. And if you have done, you know, finished before me. Yes, done. Well done. And we move on to inch warm work to knee down push ups. Ready? You have 10 more seconds. Slowly get up. Shake your hands if you need to. And get ready. Three seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, walk your hands back. And keep your knees down. Remember, as you go down, don't let your elbows flare out. Keep squeezing towards your body. Breathe as you push yourself up. Knees up. Walk your hands back all the way up. And repeat. Come on. Yes. This is your second last round. Don't give up. You can go slightly pace it up. You can go slower. But remember to maintain that form. Focus on your breathing. Do the movement correctly. Yes, we're going to get stronger arms, stronger core. Come on, quickly, finish that one rep. And done. Yes, 20 seconds breather. And if you have done, you know, finished before me. Yes, done. Well done. Come on. 10 more seconds and we switch to step climbers. Ready? Five more seconds. Palms directly under your shoulder. Don't forget to open up your fingertips. And go. 
Come on, bring your knees forward towards your chest and breathe out every time you bring your knees forward and focus. Focus that you're, you're maintaining the plank. Yes, you're not pushing your hips up towards the ceiling or down. If you're tight, hold it. It's perfectly fine and get back again. Yeah? 12 more seconds. Come on. No giving up. This is your last round. You can do it. Whew. Yes, feel that. Feel that arms, your legs, the core burning. 3, 2, 1. And stop. <sighs> last one and we are done. Yes? And after that, we have the movement of the day. Okay. Now you have still 5 seconds left. Come on, readjust your elbows. Keep an angle straight line and go. Hold it. By now, if you're tired, you can drop your top leg. But don't give up. Come on. Be with us. Just 10 more seconds and we're going to switch. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Yes, and keep breathing. Remember, don't hold your breath. Three, two, one. Stop, switch. The other side. And go. No cheating. No cheating. Yes. Yes. Almost there. Just three more seconds. Three, two, one. Hands top. Ooh, brilliant job guys brilliant awesome you and we are done with the session now take a quick sip of water and i'll tell you remember at the very start what happened to our muscles as we age right from the time you are born and around the time you turn 30 your muscles grow larger and stronger but post that point your muscles start to lose mass and function. That is called age-related sarcopenia, right? And physical inactivity can lead to 3 to 5% of muscle mass, right? Decades after the age of 30. So any loss of muscle matters because it lessens our strength and mobility. This is why we have programs like this to help you build and work on your strength and endurance. And of course, you have to have highly nutritious diet. Include protein, vegetables, fruits. Now that's how you build a lean muscles and you get healthy, right? And having stronger arms and upper body will slow down this process and you will experience fewer injuries and other issues. Yes, ready for your cool down? We're gonna start with your quad stretch. By now you know, hold your legs. If you're finding it difficult, you can extend your arms. You can take the wall support. We are holding it for 10 to 20 seconds. Yes, take longer breath. Inhale through your mouth. Nose, exhale through your mouth, not the other way around. Three, two, one, and stop. Switch the other leg. Uh, uh, uh. It's perfectly fine if you go out of your balance. Try to pull your thighs slightly back. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, stop. And then comes your cobra to mountain. 20 seconds each. Lie down on your stomach, palm next to your chest. Lift your upper body up. Remember, always press your shoulders away from your ears and hold. Yeah, 20 seconds here. And then we switch to mountain. So never, never, never shrug your shoulders. Always press it down away from your ears. Five more seconds. Three. Two, one, and switch. Now tuck your toes on the mat. Push your hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Drop your heels back. If you can't, it's perfectly fine. You can bend your knees a bit. Push your chest towards your thighs and hold. Three, 
Inhale and exhale. Come on. Almost there. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Drop your knees. Okay. Slowly get up. We are going to overhead stretch. Interlock your fingers. Press it away from your body up towards the ceiling. Okay. Quite a stance. And push, push, push. If you're comfortable, you can come onto your toes and you can move back and forward. But keep pushing your arms. Lengthen your arms. Lengthen your body. <sighs> come on. If you're standing, this is also fine. Slightly moves at your side as well. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, now we're gonna start with your shoulder stretch. Starting with your left hand. Hold it with your press it with your right hand and hold it there. <sighs> Come. Just 10 more seconds. We are done. Don't go away anywhere. We have the moment of the day. Three, two, one, stop. Now the same hand when your arms hold your elbows and pull it back. Try some stretch. Again and again, I have said several times. Turn bend your neck, keep your neck neutral, straight, look ahead. Three, two, one, stop. Switch the right hand, shoulder stretch first. Right arm extended, you are holding with your left palm, pushing it towards your body, your right hand. <sighs> By now, I'm sure your breathing is in control, your heart rate has come down. And switch when your arms, hold your elbows and pull it back. Yes, remember keep your neck neutral. Now you can smile. This is the end of it. Three. Two, one, stop. And this is the end of the session, and now it is the time for the moment of the day. Yoohoo! Oh, what is it called? Elbow plank, arm taps. Okay, make sure that your elbows are directly under your shoulder. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna extend your right hand, tap. As you tap, look at your hand. Yeah, fully arms locked, place it back, and the other hand. Okay, so we're going to try to get as many reps as possible in 30 seconds. Oh, oh, don't do this, huh? Pull the arm extended and look where you are tapping. Tap, tap. But again, try to maintain that form. Don't push your hips up. Only for 30 seconds. Guys, I want you to shoot a video of this. During the movement of the day, share it first on our Facebook community call. Stronger Together with Gulfit Live. This is Stronger Arms with me, Lavanya, and I'll see you all very soon. For more such workout videos, download the Gulfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Via Cult.